Welcome, and thank you for joining me for another episode of Sounds of Saturday Evening. Creepy? Just a little bit. This is The Wire, Season 4, Episode 12. I'm going to go ahead and get it right out. Uh, one part of this episode... I guess I should try and stop uh, overthinking. Does that make that make sense? Maybe I'm just... Maybe I'm just, I don't know. I don't know where I'm coming from in this one. Maybe I should just try and sit back and enjoy the episode for what it is. And not, oh, well, they must be doing it because of this. Or they must be doing that because of it. Whatever, you know. Um, So, they're taking a closer look here at these. Uh, not to say closer look. They're spending a little bit more time on these uh, kids inside this group, right? That we were um, introduced to at the beginning of this season. So... One kid, he's basically crumbled under the pressure of his mother and the reputation of his father, but he doesn't want to he doesn't want to follow in his father's footsteps in any way, shape, or form, which is uh can't call it being can't call it commendable or uh, you can't even say it's understandable. It's just not the path that he wants to do or wants to follow. Um which is a, a path of uh thugging or living in the street, however you want to describe it. He's, he said it's not in him, which is a recurring statement from different characters, but I'm glad to see he had the courage to say that, but not necessarily to his mother, because his mother's like, you're going to have to, you're going to have to be not only your father, but greater than him. And it's like, hey man, it's not what, it's not what I signed up for. So it looks like he may be getting adopted by uh, Colvin, the old... The old major looks like he might be getting uh, adopted by him, but not a hundred percent. Waiting to see what that how that plays out. Uh, one of the other uh, kids in the group, um, the one that's been labeled as a snitch, that you know, Prince Belusky, for all it's worth, he knew what the possible outcome was when they when the police start intervening uh, intervening in this. They put a, a cop car down there to give some type of protection. When you do that, it's, it's an admission of guilt for him being a snitch, which in my case, in, in my opinion, I don't even think he was necessarily snitching. Um, he said he gave some information that gave up a body. He didn't even like point the finger at anybody who committed a crime. Uh, I have to give it to the the other kids in this uh, series, uh pretty smart they call in an officer being assaulted at a pay phone uh it causes these two cops to go help their brother in arms right uh while them doing that these two there's two individuals they have Molotov cocktails they throw them in the kid's house through his windows oh and it's not even his actual mother it's a foster a foster parent right or somebody who's um looking over him through the system, they get like third degree burns because of this fire bombing. And he's probably got a little smoke inhalation and, and whatever, whatnot, trying to save her. Man, that's a rough, that's a rough ending to that story. I tell you, wasn't expecting that. It came out of nowhere for the most part. I mean, I, I figured, I figured it would be all through after, after the beating, but Man, stitches really do get snitches. Stitch stitches. Wait, yeah, stitches. Snitches really do get stitches, which is, I think I've talked about this before. You know, I define what snitching was, uh, as far as my criteria is concerned. But apparently, they have uh, another standard in that area of the of of the world, uh, the country, whatever. It's just messed up to see that happen, man. Um, what else? Uh, another, the other two kids that are involved in the group. Uh, one, he's having to deal with uh, leaving the eighth grade finally and moving up to the ninth grade or high school, and he's out. He's out. His parents, they're they're in they're fully uh, engaged in in their vice, which leaves him basically to fend for himself. Now they get evicted, and he pretty much has nowhere to go. He's losing the security net or his false sense of family that he's, uh, that was created by his teacher. But like, you don't expect that stuff to last forever. I don't. 
I didn't, but it was good to see him kind of like feel human, I guess, if that makes any sense. But he gets um he gets to he gets to find a place with uh his other friend, uh the other guy, one of the other kids that are involved. Now, he's interesting. I was waiting to see not necessarily if he's gonna take any bait, but I was waiting to see if he was going to take that path, the, the path of being uh, um, a thug or whatever you want to call it, street life. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know, but he took it, and he's running with it now. He's 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 getting a little drunk off that power, and he's getting involved with these guys, and he's being trained or groomed in order to be a productive member of their group. Um, yeah, it's 4th of July, so you should hear a lot of explosions in the background. Um, waiting to see where that, how that plays out, where that goes. Um, what else happens on the police side of things? Uh, I tend to leave out the police and the political stuff. Well, it's part of the show. I shouldn't say I leave it out, but the political stuff I do. I, I, I've said it numerous times, just not too into it, but it plays into the, plays into the story so much now. I mean... It's impossible to leave it out. Uh, they're dealing, so the mayor elect is dealing with the governor, I think, trying to get funds for this unexpected uh, budget deficit caused by or inside the school system. Uh, all I can do is see how that plays out. Uh, the police department, they're stirring up so much stuff and changing things around and you're seeing characters who normally don't smile or happy, be elated and overjoyed about this new prospect of them actually being able to be police in their in their in their uh, in their eyes. Which, yeah, I think the new direction that they're going is, will be good for the city. I feel like, but of course, it's a fictional show, and I've never been police and don't know any police and don't know how this. I, I don't, wouldn't know the first thing about policing, but. Seems like if they can spend more time on actually solving cases and getting these people out of these communities who not only hurt them, but poison them and try to uh, bring it down with their actions, unknowingly or knowingly, uh, I think that's better policing than getting somebody for giving somebody a ticket for having an open container of alcohol. It's like, come on, dude. Um, also, another sad note in this uh, episode. So. Kima's old, the white tea man, that's a good name for him, the white tea man, he, he was given some instruction by some other fellows about his situation with the guy who's constantly beating him and taking his money and taking his drugs, whatever the case is, so, hey man, get you some, some type of uh, chemical <clears throat> that's, that looks like, uh, that looks like the drug chop it up and cut it up inside the drug and had the guy take it and that's it of course i saw it from a mile away i'm not saying i'm a, it was easy to see anybody could see what was going to happen he's got this kid under his his wing basically and the kid uh in previous episodes has been known to play with his nose you know do drugs and the kid finds the drug that's cut with the with the poison takes the drug and he's dead and now, and now the white tea man has to deal with those consequences. You know what I mean? He has to deal with the fact that he killed that kid. Uh, we'll see how that plays out too. It's always, <clears throat> it's gonna be good to see how this season concludes because I feel like it's wrapping up. But so far, so good, man. Like always with the wire. So if you like me talking about um, other TV shows, go check out some of my other videos. Breaking Bad, uh, I'm the Americans. Uh, I've done the miniseries Chernobyl. Uh, I got a few movies up as well. Go check those videos out and subscribe. Now, I, I, every every video so far I've been doing this, so hopefully it pays off. I'm gonna show you how to subscribe. It's real simple. You, you know, you got fingers. If you ain't got a finger, you got something that's fleshy that is resembling of a finger, right? Makes sense. Press subscribe. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, it went kind of black, but just press subscribe. Please. <laughs> Ooh.